cat. Sylvia! Oh, Sylvia! Sylvia! Waka, 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 Sylvia! In the house, and she's not a mouse, she's Sylvia! Hi. Hi, Gobo. I'm so glad you're not a cat. I am not a cat. <laughs> I'm green yep. and furry, but yep. I'm not a cat. Yep. Nope. Yep. That's awesome. Hey, I have a knock knock joke for okay. you. What's that? Knock knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow laughing matter. Oh, you're right. Snow laughing matter. I think it's a groaning matter. Groaning <laughs> matter. Ha ha. <laughs> oh. Okay, got one more. Okay. What does snowman eat for breakfast? Um, I don't know. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? Frosted flakes. Oh, of course, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sylvia, you promised me you'd tell me about what happened with God's people as they crossed the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I was pretty sure they lived happily ever after. Yep. And then they forgot about the Pharaoh's army or something like that. Yeah. And I didn't know, how could you forget that God saved you and all of that stuff? And then he split the two, uh, the river in two, ocean, the ocean, the Red Sea in yeah, two, two, two yeah. and there were fish on one side swimming in yeah. the water. And there were whales on the other side swimming in the water. And then they forgot and I don't understand. I know, it seems incredible and hard to believe that they forgot about God's power and God's love for them and how he provided for them but you know what after three days of walking through a dry hot desert <sighs> guess what they got thirsty and they started complaining to Moses and they found some water but it was contaminated so they complained to Moses again and Moses talked to God and asked for his help and God made the contaminated water clean for them. And they had lots of fresh, clean water to drink. Was it Mountain Dew? Get it? Oh. Mountain Dew? <laughs> I bet you they trusted in God after that, right? Well, because they got now they got water yeah. saved from Moses, saved from the plagues. Yeah, you would think so, yeah, right? They probably trusted him yeah. then. Yeah, but guess what? Happily ever after? They got hungry. And hungry. it was the desert, and they ran out of food, and they got hungry, and they complained to Moses again, and they said, you know, we should have just left us in Egypt where we had food every night. Can you believe it? What? They'd rather be slaves in Egypt than be free? Really? So what happened? Well, God provided bread from heaven for them every day. And it just fell all around them. And... Watch out, falling bagels! <laughs> no! Oh, no, what? it's a French loaf! Oh, no! <laughs> Sourdough! Put your helmets on! Gobo? Yeah? It was more like Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes! Yeah. Wow! It was small. It fell on the ground, and it was white and very sweet. And they got enough every morning. Wow! I frosted know. Flakes! I know! And then in the evening, every evening, God had provided for them enough quail for everyone. Mm -hmm. Quail? Mm -hmm. What's that? What's a quail? Oh, uh, well, a quail is like a small pheasant. A peasant? No, a pheasant. They weren't eating peasants, were they? No. Pheasant? What's a pheasant? I don't know what a pheasant oh. is. Uh, well, a pheasant is like a small partridge. Oh, I like the partridge in a pear yeah. tree. Yeah. Except I don't know what a partridge <laughs> is. Oh. Okay. Well, a partridge is like a small chicken. Small chicken? Yeah. God provided chicken nuggets to the Israelites every day. <laughs> they got chicken nuggets. Yeah. Every day. Wow. Frosted flakes and chicken nuggets every day. Boy, God really did love them. Oh, yeah, he did love him. God yeah. loves his people, and he provides for us, and he gives us everything we need. But, you know, sometimes we forget, and it's just easy to complain instead of remembering to thank God. I forget sometimes. What do you mean? Well, the other day I found myself complaining that I had to put gloves on outside instead of being thankful that I had gloves to wear. 
Oh, I complain about having to pick up my toys instead of thanking God that I have so many toys. Yeah, you see, let's, it's so easy to complain. And Well, I was just thinking maybe we should pray about that. Okay, I think we can pray about that. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay. okay. Dear God, we are sorry for complaining so much and forgetting to thank you. And we thank you so much for, for providing everything that we need and for loving us so much. Yeah, thank you for chicken nuggets, God, mm -hmm. and for frosted flakes and toys mm -hmm. and clothes and winter and summer mm -hmm. and Christmas and Easter and chocolate. And, and we, we give thanks to you and thank you for all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, 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 amen. <laughs> amen. 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 So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to try and do this week. I'm going to try and remember to Thank God before I complain. Thanking God before we complain, we try. should do that. Yep. Hey, can we go outside and play now? Sure we can. Let's say goodbye to our friends first. Oh, bye, friends. Uh -huh. Thank you for watching today. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it and like it and subscribe to our channel. And look for ways to thank God. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. God loves you. God loves you. So do we. Go blow out. Bye.